you know, on a map you see, you know, the, the 50 foot intervals or 20 foot intervals or 5 foot intervals and basically every line on that map is following the line that's in the contour. And so when you look at a landscape that's like this, the contour line isn't necessarily a straight line. So the place where the contour is in this shape might go like this and it might move around and it might go down like this and then it might come back like this and I'm just sort of following that's all at the same elevation and then it might follow this line and then kind of come up like this. So if you, Drop if you, line. yeah, so if you make um, a tool, there's a tool that you can make very simply called an A-frame level which will tell you where exactly the contour points might be along the way. You can look it up on the internet how to make an A-frame level. Is that um, with a tube with water? Well, that's a different way. That's a water level, and you can do that too. But an A-frame level is basically you put two sticks together, two two pieces of milled wood. Oh. I and then you put it, make it into an A things? shape, right? Right. So you start it in one point. You put a flag there, and then if you move it, so that so on the cent the cross part of the A, you put a, a level, like a like a line level. You tape it on there or whatever, screw it on there, and then when it's and and you know. So when it's level, as long as you've built the level so that the feet are the same yeah. length, you, you know, set it up on a level surface that you know is level, make it level at those two points, and that means that everywhere you swing it, and where you make that level, uh, the level that's on the, the center of the A-frame level, that means that that point is at the same point. So you make a real small one if you're really trying to do micro points along a small area, you can make a real big one if you were going all the way across the yard. And so <laughs> if you dig uh, a swale or make a berm that's all at the same level, it means that it's going to fill up with water up to the level okay. before it's going to spill over, all at the same level, because water's going to seek its own level. If you slow water down in an area like that, it's going to soak into the soil. So if you put this swale across here and it was capturing water off of the street, it's going to sort of clean the water bioremediate, you know, that, that whole concept. And maybe you planted some plants that were sacrificial. I mean, these plants you're not really consuming. I mean, maybe you want to consume the yucca, but, but primarily this is just aesthetic. So if you're soaking uh, water into there and letting uh, these plants clean the soil that's coming off of the asphalt, the fresh asphalt, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just gonna go into the soil there and, and sort of remediate that. Um, and, then, and then what you want to probably do is have the overflow from that swale instead of just dumping down here where this person's kind of in a hole. You don't, they don't want more water probably dumping into the front of their house. You know, that's probably a hazard. You might run the swale into here where the overflow actually drops into this gully and hopefully doesn't make its way over into their house. Talk to them, make a plan, try mm -hmm. to come up with something. That's actually